Welcome back to another Jason Bowen and Clive Five Art collaboration. Jason has challenged me to paint the face from there up. And don't forget to click subscribe. So I've selected an image and I wanted to show you, I've already gridded it out and drawn it and I wanted to show you how do we get to this stage and then afterwards I'm going to be looking at some paint and how we mix in the colours, um, the tonal range that I'm going to use for this um, portrait uh, because this is not a this is not a, a lesson on portraiture as such. This is how you can start off with portraiture. Just get your teeth into something good, I think. Have a try. I'll post this. I'll, I'll, I'll post this picture um, on my website, www.life5r.co.uk. Links uh, below. And, and then you're going to have a go at this. Okay. Right. So, what did I do? Well, as you can see, um, I downloaded um, Jackson's Art Grid. Let me see if I can just twist my iPad there for you. There you go. Jackson's Art Grid. Um, this is available um, on an iOS system. I'm not too sure if it's available on Android, but I know there are other ones out there. Um, so we've got projects and new projects. So I've already done uh, the, the, the grid for this, but I'll show you how I did that in one second. So we, we, all we need to do is click New Project. Now we can take a picture or we can use an existing photo. So I'm going to use an existing photo and I'm just going to pick Mr. Bean. There you go. So Mr. Bean. There we go. So there's our picture of Mr. Bean up there. Now you can adjust that in Photoshop or you can adjust it um, on your iPad if you've got that facility um, to, to, to brighten it and sharpen it and whatever you want to do to it. That's great. Choose your size of canvas. Well, we'll go inches and you've got a range of sizes there. Look, 16 by 20, I think this particular one is. Um, so we'll go 16 by 20 anyway. Now you've got the option of going landscape or portrait. It's entirely up to you. We will go portrait. There we go. So there he is. You've spun around. Let's drop Mr. Bean down like that. There we go. Can we see? Here we can. So all we need to do now is um, go to next. Now we can move the picture and square it up where we want it. On our, on our canvas, there we go. So I want him roughly there. I'm gonna to have to support my iPad. Um, you can have grayscale on or grayscale off. So if you press the button, we can see him in grayscale or we can see him in color. It doesn't really matter, I prefer working in color personally. And we click next, and then we can arrange our grids. So we need as many rows as we can get up. 10 by 10, I think I did. There we are, 10 by 10. And it also tells you 51 millimeters is the gap between each uh, vertical and horizontal, uh, or horizontal, and then vertical is at 41 millimeters. So that's vertical and horizontal, and that's it. All you need to do then is save that, and then you can print that out, um, and use it directly uh, as, as a printout, or, there we go, let's put that back, so I'm not gonna drop it anyway. So you can share your project or you can print your project or whatever you want to do to it or you can just save it in your file and then all you need to do is click on your project and there he is. We can rotate him and then we can use that then on each grid. What I do is I put a little cross around the eyes areas there so I know exactly. Um, I get a little bit more detail there and as you can see I'm just going to flip, flip him back that way because it's going to look a bit awkward but Mr Bean is a very awkward person anyway so it doesn't really matter. So have a look at, let's have a look at the canvas. Let's have a look at the canvas. <laughs> I forgot what camera I was on. <laughs> so as you can see, quite simply, then all you need to do is count the squares across, count the squares across on your um, art grid, and then you can put in and start drawing in section by section whatever you want to draw. Basically, this could be a portrait, or it could be a landscape, or it could be a building, or it could be anything like that. So you can use our grid for absolutely anything you want. You can grid out the composition if you wanted to. And then that's all you need to do is work on it box by box, like we did when we were children. Do you remember those books we used to have when we used to have a, a picture with a grid and we had to copy those over? Exactly the same way. 
And all I did on there was put a bird umber wash onto that, um, put my grid onto it. I didn't have to go all the way down because I'm not doing the mouth. And, um, and, and that was it basically. So we just need to tighten these lines up a little bit. I'm just going to darken this up because I want to put this onto my website for you. And if, if you can't draw, then try this. It might work for you. It might, yes. If you can't even do that, then use a tracing. There's no law, there's no right or wrong way. So without further ado, I will see you actually on the challenge. So my name is Clive from clivesart.co.uk. Thank you very much. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. And these little tip videos on each, each um, lesson that I do now are going to help you immensely. So I'll uh, see you next time. Or oh, I'll see you on the, on the video. Click the icon. <laughs> see you anyway. Bye. Don't forget to click subscribe